supremely genius scheme will allow me to destroy all the world's kidneys. You mean allow us to destroy the entire world's kidneys, right, Professor? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I create, I'm Professor Nefritis. I infected Marcus's kidneys eight years ago. The kidneys fill to the blood and produce several hormones, including ethro epo eaten, which tells the bone marrow to make more red blood cells. My kidneys were very important. They processed about 200 quarts of blood to fill throughout about two quarts of waste and extra water each day. They regulated my blood pressure by producing the hormone renin. My kidneys also activated vitamin D into its usable format called custard trial. My kidneys kept my body in a perfect balance. End stage renal disease, or ESRD, occurs when the kidneys fail. ESRD affects over 2 million people worldwide. I predict that ESRD will affect over 60,000 Americans in the next two years. Stop, Nefritis! You will never succeed in infecting all those kidneys! My scheme creates problems such as high blood pressure and diet restrictions. Since I've infected so many kidneys, there are approximately 85,000 people on the transplant waiting list, but only 17,000 actually received a donated kidney last year. Are you done yet? Where have you been? I've been helping at the hospital, and according to the survey we took, the biggest problem ESRD patients face are medication side effects, blood draws, and the enormous costs. The Medicare system alone spends $25 billion on kidney failure treatments yearly. This equals about $75,000 per patient every year. Is there anything you can do to help me? I've already been through so much. Some of the current treatments are hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, and a kidney transplant. Hemodialysis is a process where the blood is pumped through an external circuit for filtration, using a pump similar to this. The usual schedule is three sessions per week for four hours each session. This process is very exhausting and only replaces 13% of kidney function. As a result, only 35% of patients live for more than five years on dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is a process in which sugar water isolation is put into the abdominal cavity. Through osmosis, extra fluids and waste are pulled from the blood into the solution. The solution with the waste and extra fluids then are drained through a permanent catheter in the abdomen. The risk of infection is very high. Transplants are very costly and expensive anti-rejection drugs are needed to keep the body from attacking the kidney. I've already experienced all those treatments. Isn't there something better? Yes, Dr. Hugo Roy is leading a team of experts in building an implantable bio-artificial kidney. It will filter the blood and the blood will go through a compartment of kidney cells so that fluids and chemicals will be balanced and vitamin D activated. The body's immune cells will not be able to fit through tiny pores in the silicon membrane, so rejection and recurrent autoimmune diseases cannot occur. Don't worry, our amazing bio-artificial kidney, or ABK, will work similar to the one Dr. Roy is working on, except as the blood flows through it, the blood pressure and the hemoglobin, or red blood cell count, will be monitored. If the hemoglobin is low, the ABK will pump the appropriate amount of erythropoietin into the bloodstream. A power wave pager, or PWP, will constantly send radio waves to the ABK to power the sensors. When any of these levels are out of range, the ABK will send a Bluetooth signal to the PWP that will alarm you of the potential problem. Great, but how much will it cost? The ABK will be a one-time expense of about the same cost as a transplant, but there will be no need for extremely expensive immunosuppressant drugs that cost you an arm and a kidney. You can help by becoming our friend on Facebook and making a donation to Dr. Roy's IRED project. We are the IRED Warriors! And with your help, we can make the bio-artificial kidney a reality.